Greetings. This is a model of our universe, how we all know it, in the three dimensions. How we all know, to get from point A to point B, we have to go through a path of points connecting these two. This can be up and down, backward and forward, left or right, or any other possible direction in our 3D space. In our 3D universe, all the points appear connected like in the image. Each point is near its neighbor without a gap between them. And this is a section and you can see all the points are connected to each other. So to travel from point A to point B, you have to pass through all the points in between. According to the Planck scale, you cannot infinitely divide the space and you will get to a size where the smallest unit of space cannot be divided anymore. That's the Planck length. So we assume each point of our 3D space is at the proximity of a Planck length distance to its neighbor. So this is, should be the distance. So this is how our 3D universe would look like now with the Planck length between the points. The question comes, what is in between them? What can it be between them? So when you travel into our universe, you travel connecting the points and skipping the Planck length. Imagine now that near each point of our universe, there is a corresponding point in another universe. We have now Universe 1, our universe, and Universe 2, a parallel one. Actually, near each point in our universe, you can have points corresponding to an infinity of parallel universes. These universes are forming the 4D dimension, which you can see in the representation. Each color is representing another universe. Due to limitations, I had to draw only five of these. And this line here is the fourth axis which travels between the universes. This would be the representation of 4D points. So now there are just two of them left, so it can be seen better. Now I'm getting to what a 4D object is. Here is a representation of our hypersphere. This object exists in the 4D dimension. That means it exists in multiple parallel universes at the same time. Each of its layers intersects one of the parallel universes. The 
in our case the point in the center is in our universe the second layer is in a second universe the third layer is in a third universe and so on when the hypersphere travels on the fourth axis the point existing in each universe move to another parallel universe when it shifts universes it appears either to shrink or grow depends in which direction is going on the fourth axis so when it shifts in our universe will appear this layer then when it shifts again it will appear this layer when it shifts again it appear another one and this one disappears and then it appears the last one the other one disappears and all the others are in different universes and at some point if it shifts further it disappears completely it can appear the other way around it can appear like that first then it shrinks and then again shrinks again shrinks once more and gets to one point and it disappears completely when it it shifts the other way here the blue line is the four dimension here these coordinates are the coordinates for the uh, universes the parallel universes on the for the axis uh, here is our hypersphere in the middle part the red part is in the first universe and the green one in the second one the pink one on the third on the, the blue on the fourth and the green and yellow on the fifth yeah. and here is how it shifts so it's moved and again and again again so again 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 so in the first universe now it has completely disappeared if it goes backwards so like that in each of these universes he started to go like that. this is why it's shifting its size while it passes through the four dimension because each layer at the time is gonna intersect the, uh, the one of the universes I hope you enjoyed about the hypersphere there are many other things to say about quantum fields how the time uh, slows down or stops in a black hole but that may be in another video some other time thank you